I'm Zay Miranda here, welcome back to the channel, and today we're going to be testing 24 gym hacks in 24 hours. See if they work, see if they're worth it, and um, give you guys the hacks, the tricks, the secrets to crushing your goals, getting in shape. Hack number one, if you have any knee sleeves or wrist wraps, apparently if you um, throw them in the freezer for about one to two hours, kills the smell. So that's the first one, and we'll come back in two hours to see if that one worked. Alright, hack number two, I know everyone's been there, when you leave shaker bottle, blender bottle in the car for too long, <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you what was in it. It looks like yellow. It looks like piss. Wait, that might have been when I peed. Smell it. Your piss has black particles in it. But it smells sour, right? I think it might have been. I think it might have been pre-workout. Instead of having uh, one bottle they use all the time, rotate your bottles and then don't leave your um, bottle in the car. Hello. <sighs> Yo, what's good? I just got off work. Yo, what's good? You coming to the gym, right? Yo, I, I was gonna come to the gym, but I, th I think I left my bag at the house and by the time I go home and the traffic, it's just uh, not gonna- Yeah, that's so funny because I left your gym bag in the back of your car. You, you, you what? Your gym bag, it's in the back of your car. You're welcome. It, is it? I'll see you at the gym. Damn it! <sighs> I guess I'm going to the gym. <laughs> Hack number three. Leave your gym bag at the car because when you get off work, school, whatever it is, it's right in the car for you to go. So, hack number three, leave your gym bag in the car. All right, had to come to the store for the next hack because this hack is making wiser decisions in the kitchen or just food options or whatever it is. So, but um, peanut butter, everyone loves it, but extremely high in calories, 190, right? You see that? Two tablespoons. And I guarantee you people are using a lot more than two tablespoons. PB2 or PB Fit, this one is 60 calories for two tablespoons. Barbecue sauce, everyone loves barbecue sauce, right? But you can never go wrong with um, Sweet Baby Ray's, right? How much? 70 calories for two tablespoons. Hold on a second. No sugar added. 15 calories for two tablespoons. Huge difference. Stuff like this adds up, guys. Same thing with like soda and stuff. If you drink regular soda, you're honestly a psychopath. Next hack, which is a huge one. Hydration, okay? Because I know a lot of you guys do not drink enough water. I don't need it. Chris, yes or no? When you walk around a gallon, it's almost like a personal, like, you want to finish it. You might look like a typical um, gym bro uh, douchebag, but hey, at least you're a, you're a typical gym bro douchebag who's hydrated. Without hydration, it just honestly helps performance, gym, just feeling overall better. Helps my skin. That's why Chris's skin looks like a bunch of barnacles. Fuck you. The only reason that came to my head is a uh, true story. One of my brother's friends when I was younger and my acne was really bad, looked at me in my face. Hey, why do you have barnacles all over your face? I, I don't, I don't know. I like them. That's not a tip. Actually, no, that, it is kind it of is a tip. tip. It's just, a, it's just a, not the tip I'm talking about. Next tip is, guys, this one actually kind of blew my mind. You guys know fat grips, the, the grips that you put around like barbells to make the grip wider to like help with like forearm strength and stuff. They can be expensive. And if you don't want to break the budget, you can use a uh, swimming pool like noodle. They don't have noodles here in Target. So I'm going to get this and cut it and we're going to go to the gym and see if it works. See if it works as a fat grip. First one you can do with this should stay right on your back because it locks it in. See that? One. Not a single movement. I'm all about being efficient on this channel, guys. All right, next hack you can do with this. So you put it here, right around, right around. That's all it is. I think that might be the best hack of the day. I'm not joking. All right. Oh my god. All right, next hack. You know when you get to the gym and you're working out, where your stomach, like, you feel like you gotta go, but like, it's not moving, right? And it's uncomfortable. So what do you do? Caffeine. You can take us uh, some pre-workout. If you want to take some rec pre-workout, this will wreck your asshole. Any type of caffeine works though, but um, if you want to pick this up, it tastes amazing too. Take some caffeine. I like taking these little clumps. Throw them in. Or you dry the gold thing. And hopefully in about five to ten minutes, it gets going. A few minutes later. <laughs> no, you good? Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready to work out. All right, next hack. Chris doesn't even know the hack yet. The camera's not him. But if you're like Chris or a girl or just, um, that's not what I meant. I mean, if you have earrings, that's what I meant. If you have earrings or jewelry, and I've personally lost chains and I'll take it and I'll throw it in my gym bag or like I just misplace it. So what you can do, take your jewelry, uh, rings, whatever it is, get an empty little Tylenol kind of container thing. Ooh. Take an empty one, put all your necklaces, jewelry, earrings in there, toss it in your gym bag, boom, like that, and you won't lose anything. Unless you lose that, then you have bigger problems. Next hack is very important. If you don't have like a stopwatch or there's no clock around, right? But you have your music after your set, yes. Use your playlist as a timer. So if you're like Chris or any uh, powerlifter that takes five minutes between set, four or five minutes, a lot of songs are like four minutes long. Use that as a timer just to know to start your next set. If you're like me and you go like 30 to 60 seconds first in between each set, um, play faster music. But yeah. 
Use your playlist at the timer to keep you um, on track. And not in the gym for three hours. Leads us to the next hack is um keep your phone while you're working out. Uh, do not disturb. Nothing's worse when you're able to say you keep getting calls, texts, and even if that, you just don't want to be distracted. You're in the gym for an hour, hour and a half, whatever it is, 45 minutes. Um, that's your time to just lock in, focus, have the music in, and um, that's it. Do not disturb. Super, 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 super important hack. All right, next hack is actually it might be a lifesaver. It might save your back because if you guys have ever used sleds, like I use sleds, whether it's sled push, leg day, cardio, whatever it is. Sometimes it's really annoying to try to, to do like this to try to get our knee and then lift it up. So put a plate down, then take a smaller plate, put it in between each one, just like that. That way it's way easier for you to go right underneath. Boom. This one's a life changer. I swear to God, I lied. This one actually got my favorite one because as you guys know, I'm a big cardio guy. I love the sleds and um, I've never knew this and I'm gonna start doing that. Next hack um, is to make sure you're foam rolling. But if your gym doesn't have a foam roller, it's not enough. Um, get creative with it. You can either use a water bottle, like a thick bottle, use that. Or if your gym has anything like circular that rolls, you know, works just as good. So there's no excuse to not foam roll. Break up some of that muscle tissue. That way you're not um, getting injured and prevent injury. You can use it for your back. <sighs> get creative when you're foam rolling. All right, next hack is probably gonna be your guys' favorite one, the one that you're probably gonna do the most, is how to look bigger, how to look better, how to look leaner in about two seconds. First, get yourself a good friend or get yourself a professional videographer, photographer, just Christian's mind, and um, it's all about lighting and angles, right? So Chris, take a picture of me, all right? Wow, I look like I don't work out. Now direct me, where's the where's lighting? Wait, it's actually a huge difference. Lighting, flexing, angles, and also playing with like the, the, the camera lighting too. Biggest key. The trick to not getting uh, bothered or approached or just you know people talking to you is um, look less approachable. Yo Isaiah, what's up man? Huh? Oh, Yo, what's, what's up, up man? Hey. How you been? Good, good, every yeah, day. Yeah, how are Just going? trying to work out. Skip? They're good, yeah, I'm just trying to hit yeah, what chest. Yeah, what are you hitting? Chest, yeah, are you oh, working out? Yeah, can I hit it with you? Uh, you wanna work in with me? Yeah. It's gonna be a fast. What, what are you one. starting with, though? Bench. What do you think I should do to grow my chest, though? Like my outer chest. <laughs> Yo, I said. Oh, no, never mind. He looked like he was fighting demons. Next hack, actually a very good mental one, because it goes to anything in life, guys. Because if you look good, you feel good, you feel good, you do good. Don't come to the gym, you know, looking bummy, looking all raggedy. Come with a nice gym outfit. Come with some, come with some drip. Come with some heat. Black party shorts, Young LA just dropped with the Simplicity t-shirt. Probably already sold out, but um, if you want to look good, you want to feel good, you want to do good in the gym, Young LA, code Isaiah, link down below. It's leg day, too many benches are taken, and um, you're trying to do against split squats. You try and grow that teardrop, that little teardrop right there, but you can't find a bench, right? So what do you do? Itch. Itch. Perfect little way to do up against split squats, and also, if you wanted to do hip thrust, and there's no hip thrust machine, find a hamstring curl machine, like right this one right here. That guy's on it though. Um, and you get underneath it and just do a little thrusting and pumping. Next hack is actually a good one, but it might get you beat up and jumped in the gym for taking a whole squat rack to do this. If you want to do dips, but you can't find the dip bar, right? Or there's no dips that's taken up, you get a squat rack and you make your own. Not only do you take a whole squat rack, we also take two barbells. Oh my god. Next hack, you're trying to re rack weights. From deadlifting, and it's really hard. Take a small little plate, put it on. Come up way easier. All right, next hack is when you don't have any chalk or like uh, wrist wraps or anything. No chalk, no wrist wraps, no problem. Go to the bathroom, grab some paper towels. This. And I can stay in here all day. I'm struggling for the next 24 hours. Next hack is um, tricking your brain to make yourself go a little harder, a little faster, because if your, if your body gets used to doing the same thing, um, it's eventually not gonna work as well. So, say you usually go on level 10, right? You're usually on level 10, whatever, but you wanna push stuff a little faster. Mm -hmm. So you wanna hit, 
12. Go to a higher speed, right? For like 30 seconds to a minute. And then when you drop it back down to 12, it makes it feel like it's way easier. Now you drop it down. That's like little tricks I like to do to trick my brain into thinking I'm going slower, but it's actually faster than what I usually do. So try that and then how it goes. Thanks. So I'm going by, right? And he said this some Pussy stuff sold out how fast? That shit, I was in the clock at all motherfucking drops. That shit sold out within two minutes. It was already gone yeah. before I even checked out. No, it's crazy, guys. I'm not joking. If you want to get Young and Lace stuff, you literally have to be on it. Like, if, you, if, you're, if you're on it, honestly, 30 seconds late, you're fucked. Real talk, the quality is like, uh, are yeah. none. So it's worth the shit, worth the price. Yeah. It's really, it's made well. I appreciate it. I appreciate the support. Yeah, thank you. Next hack, honestly, mostly a tip that um, I need to take and I need to start doing is um, honestly, because Chris can tell you right now, warm up before you work out. Chris, let the people know. He doesn't warm up at all. It's, uh, it's easier said than done, but you have to fucking do it. Like, I, I started taking a little bit better time now. So you want to warm up, make sure I lubricate it, make sure I'm good. That way you're nice and flexible and nimble to get to action. So uh, do your warm up. If you're doing pull ups or maybe dips or anything that you can't do with your own body weight, right? Grab a band, put your knee in it, just like that. Do not do that. That low key hit my upper lip, and I don't know if I'm disgusted or just I'm grossed out because this isn't my band. Next hack, um, kind of opposite of that one, where you need help, you want to make it harder for yourself. You don't have a weight vest. You're doing pull-ups. You're doing walking lunge or something. You don't have a weight vest. You don't want to spend the money in a weight vest. You make your own. Load up some weight, however much you want in it. Super good, and it's actually probably way more comfortable than a weight vest. Add that weight in. Add a thousand pounds in it. Straps are probably ripped off. Yeah, I think this is honestly, I swear you guys, my channel has been out. The most informational video I've ever done in my life. So you're driving home, you just killed your workout, right? And on the way home, there's Chipotle. Or oh, there's any type of food that you want to stop and you want to get the food, but um, you also don't want to spend money. So what do you do? You bring your meal prep with you to the gym. First of all, you save money, one. And two, you also know exactly what you're putting into your body to, you know, keep tracking your goals. So bring your meal prep with you to the gym. Since I've been doing it since prep, it's honestly like the best thing in the world. And especially because you're really hungry, so you want to make irrational, dumb decisions when you like, how many times you finish working out and you're like, oh my God, I'm starving. I want five guys. Chris smiled behind the camera because he does that a lot. I'll be back later. All right, checking into the hack we did earlier, the Chris's disgusting, uh, smelly wrist wraps that literally make your nose hair shrivel and just singe off. What do they smell worse? Oh, hold on. Oh, wait, hold on. Are these brand new? No, there's actually, there's actually no smell. Smell it. Right? Come smell, in, I think, it, no, these new. If that makes sense, it smells cold. It does smell. They wouldn't know unless they smelled them. Like, that's what cold smells like. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that hack, that hack works. I think this is my most informational video. A lot of hacks that I didn't know that actually worked. My favorite one was probably, probably this one. And uh, the... The, the fat grip ones. That one is crazy. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let me know if you like these kind of videos. Um, we'll keep them coming. Think of other hacks that we can find. Maybe outside the gym or just anything else in the world. I'm willing to do anything. I'm off prep. So I'm ready. Um, subscribe to the channel, guys. We're to, four, we're to 500k. And I love you guys. Code Isaiah for any young LA and huge subs. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.